today, Jack and I thought we would show you guys what it's like to free skate in a city environment. So we're gonna start here at James Coffee Co and then end in Gas Lamp Quarter. So hope you guys enjoy. So what do you think about the terrain so far? Uh -oh. It's bumpy in a nice way. That sounds bad, but the bumps are not enough to mess you up at all whatsoever. Yeah, we hit a couple leaves back there. Sometimes you get a little twigs with those, but that wasn't too bad. One of my favorite way to get leaves out of your skates is just going backwards and they'll fall right out. There's definitely a lot of ways to get around the city. I think it'll be interesting to show people how free skates can be used. Generally, there's a lot of accessibility like this ramp I just went down. It's safe to go through crosswalks. Typically you want to stay on the sidewalk, but I will admit I have a history of skating in traffic to get places as I used to live downtown. So it was my primary method of transportation, but that is before I got a car. Yeah, these cracks are like nice. They're, it's weird to say that about cracks. They're like soothing. They're not the kind that would like trip up your foot and no. make it hurt. It, it just creates like a subtle vibration under your feet. Gotta wait for this crosswalk here. All right, let's keep it moving. We got a truck on our way. It's a big truck. Let's get back over here if we can. Yeah. Like what made him think he could make that? I don't know. It's like, <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna shoot it. So right now we're cruising through what's called Little Italy. There are a lot of Italian shops, restaurants, stuff like that. It's a cool place to cruise uh, any time of day, especially at night because of all the lights. Thank you. Which one of these restaurants do you want to eat at, Jack? Uh, there's too many to choose from. We'd have to just try them all, I guess. Try them all. So we're coming up on some people. Being able to stop in, uh, in a single stance is an important skill set to have in the city scene. Yeah, in situations like that where we're coming up on groups of people, I got a lot of practice with that in college. How about this terrain? Yeah, this is like not ideal. It's not just brick, it's like, it has pretty big gaps. Yeah, to be able to go over that on free skates though is uh, it's a cool accomplishment. A little bit of uphill cruising. Call me crazy, but I might take the road here. surprised there's not a lot of cracks that'll actually throw you off the skates here because of how many there are. Yeah, downtown San Diego, for the most part, is pretty smooth. There's always some little exceptions here and there, and those are the ones that can screw you up. So you gotta keep an eye out. <laughs> Clearly not our biggest fan. I don't think he likes free skates. He says, just get a skateboard, freak. <laughs> I don't know if I've been in this specific block of downtown, but I do like this uh, yeah. little group of trees coming up. Very cool. Ooh. Oh, Jack took the road. It said pedestrian access. Yeah, I should probably... Gabe should have taken the road. <laughs> Three, two, one. Jack's over there spinning. I wonder which building is actually the tallest. Whichever one it is, it's probably not all too impressive. So it's like a cool spot for practicing stair oh, sets. We could totally do a bump somewhere, yeah. Looks like a perfect spot. Do you think we're allowed to skate here? Uh, maybe not. There's like security cameras and stuff. You could do it anyways, though. Yeah, it'd be a classic skate video. We'll be the first people to make sure that they put up a no free skater sign. Right. All right, let's go this way. Kind of deciding on the fly here which way to go, depending on uh, which walk signs are on. That way it uh, keeps us on our toes with wherever we're going. This route is not pre-planned. Woo 
Sometimes you pass parking garage entrances and exits, especially during those, you wanna be really careful about any oncoming cars. Definitely look around the corner first. I thought that might have tripped us up because it was back-to-back -back electrical uh, cord protectors. You just gotta keep your knees bent and stay composed on the skates. Most times you'll make it through it. The one thing that'll actually not be able to go, you'll not be able to go over on free skates typically is railroad tracks. <laughs> I'm sure there's some instances where there's one or two people that'll be like, I've made it over, but uh. Yeah, it's definitely not easy. I think I've tried and it's just kind of not worth it. Especially when I'm holding all this stuff. We could show just to just I, for one, I'm gonna pick up my skates, but. I'll show just how hard it is though. It helps to do like fast, 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 Ooh. fast, fast. It's, oh, I thought you were gonna make it too. No, uh, they'll, they'll trip you up eventually. Okay, let's get going. Do you have any tips for skating on brick, Jack? There are times where you might need to do minor foot adjustments to re realign with your skates because of how much the vibrations will slightly adjust your skates over time, especially if you're riding for longer periods of time on them. Woo! Yeah, bending your knees, keeping your weight a little shifted back, and then watching out for these extra bumpy yellow things at crosswalks. So that's, skating on bricks is definitely not ideal. It'll speed up the, the rate in which your feet get very sore, but it is possible to not hop off your skates and just cruise on over them. It's entirely possible. <laughs> you do what Gabe's doing and ride on the smooth stuff in the middle. Woo! Ooh. There aren't very many opportunities to skate under a scaffolding like this here in this city. But whenever I do, it makes me feel like I'm in New York or something. Yeah, this is interesting. What? That was a cool uh, showcase of how free skates can really allow you to pass uh, crowds without being disrespectful about it. So here is the start of Gas Lamp Quarter. What it is is a cluster of shops, restaurants, a bunch of lights, lots of nightlife. And it's actually where I used to live. So living here in downtown San Diego really taught me how to handle whatever the streets could throw at you. Let's take a left. Over every bump and every intersection like this, I'm bending my knees and keeping my weight back so that those bumps don't trip me up. We're gonna circle around Gas Lamp a little bit and then come back. But first, we're gonna skate by Petco Park. It's interesting, we just uh, skated over some that were horizontal, some were, that were vert vertical, and then some that were diagonal. All sorts of brick layouts. <laughs> Ooh, watch out for that car there. Eyes are always on the ground, or at least usually on the ground. How are your feet doing, Jack? It's starting to get a little tense, but uh, once you free skate it as long as we have, you kind of just ignore it. Yeah, all these bricks are starting to build up on me, but um, doing okay so far. It's nothing, uh, oh, we can keep going, cool. It's nothing a one or two minute break off the skates won't like completely almost rejuvenate. But here at JMK Ride, we don't take breaks. We don't, but That's a joke. if we did. We do take breaks, just not very many. <laughs> so I think they were okay, they had time. Yeah, slow down. Sometimes the sidewalk is a bit too congested and you either got to do some little quick carves or reverse pumping or any method to get yourself slowed down to a crawling pace to respect those around you. But of course, if you can find a gap, by all means, take it. This is cool. One of my favorite parts about skating in the downtown area, no matter what city you're in, is you just, you, you stick out like a sore thumb. Yeah, there's more cars than people walking around like on the boardwalk, so I think I get less of a human reaction, but definitely like those people across the street, they were just looking there. You get people looking still. Oh, in Minnesota, I'd always get honks instead of uh, yelling. You'd get honked? No, like good honks. <laughs> people roll their windows down and start screaming at you. Uh, and in like, the best way. Hey, let's go. <laughs> oh, you think? You think of what I'm thinking? What? This loading dock. Uh, what about it? No, never mind. I'm not. I like. I thought it, but I didn't want to actually. What are What are the intrusive thoughts that are going on in your brain right now? Early grab. That's pretty high. That is pretty high. I mean, I can drop a clip of Maddie Tice doing an early grab, and uh, actually, it was higher than that. It's just tempting the looks of it, but it doesn't have the best run up.
It's fun finding the best path. There's uh, certain sections of the sidewalk are, that are more ideal to skate over than others. You gotta do a little bit of pathfinding as you skate. This isn't the uh, smoothest of surfaces either. And we are coming up on Petco Park for the San Diego Padres. So we just have to watch out for any baseballs that well, go. Well, there's no games going on right now. They didn't do so hot. Too All soon? Right. Too soon. Let's go this way. So down the block there is a nice view of the San Diego Convention Center. It's where they have Comic-Con and a lot of other things. Let's uh, kind of move off maybe down here to the left. And this, Jack, is actually where I got on the trolley every single day to go to JMK. Yeah, I recognize this place. That's a little bit of foreshadowing for the video linked above. <laughs> Let's head up the main street, or at least what I would call the, the main street in Gaslamp, Fifth Avenue. Dare we take the streets? This is what I did every single day to get back home. I would take this street and the road. As long as it's open. <laughs> You're like smiling, like I didn't do that. <laughs> I mean, if there were cars too, I mean, it's just like your- Yeah, it's just like your Lane bike. splitting on a bike or something. Yeah. As long if as you're anything not going you have, the wrong way. If anything, I feel like you almost have more control than a bike. How fast can you go, Jack? Should I try and pass you? Yeah, sure. Woo! Watch both ways every time you hit the intersection. Reminds me of home, because it used to be home. Woo! No cars behind us, we're here. No cars behind us either. This street is usually blocked off. I think that's why no one takes this road. I don't know why it's not blocked off right now. Might have to slow down here. Gotta be respectful. And with that, we've reached the end of our downtown skate. This is Gas Lamp. And uh, if you want to see us continue with the race to Pacific Beach, go ahead and click on this video right here. It's kind of hectic, kind of insane. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to roll, roll with, with us. us.